finally had the time to check my recording to upload, but it's all black screen with keyboard player visible. No! Greetings, fellow scavengers. Welcome, welcome aboard. Um, yesterday was a really, really interesting mission, actually. Um, it's a mission with Leaper and Slime for the infestation type. And of course, all oh, freaking course. If you can see my uh, cursor right here, I should check it around in case it's visible or something. Two thousand years later. Okay, thankfully it's visible, and I have to like uh, bring my microphone in because I am actually carrying a really big tablet right here in case I want to draw something. Um, because I'm interested to recreate this one, but um, I mean, with less amount of video editing or something if you get my gist of it all right so where should i begin i managed to get the uh, field access when i started i was able to bring myself wait oh right jesus there you are yeah much better all right yeah uh first start i was able to go to the fuel room getting the fuel i forgot uh how many fuel that was um, and then going back and forth. I somewhat mistook um, this sterility to have three infestations for some particular reason. So basically it was a Moteki ship. Mm, where should I... I think it was a Moteki yeah, or something. It, it was apparently two infestation type. It should be T, but you know the drill. Something, something. Not three. Not three, yes. So, room 15 start with uh, Leaper, room 11 was the same. I went around and focusing myself on the upper room approach. So, I got a bit less focus on room 5. As soon as I entered it, I was only able to visit uh, room 6 and room 8. Um, thanks to this is Marvin, courtesy by Marvin's screenshot right here. Um, my, uh, room 6 and room 8 and I think I wasn't able to visit the other rooms or other rooms because I was just not too quick on finding myself that room that appeared to have the one with the next power inlet because if I recall correctly it, there were there was an open door between room 6 and room 7 I kind of forgot if not between room 6 and room 9 and I didn't check there uh, because I felt like the slime was like way too it was like way too over here as soon as I discovered it so I I didn't even see this scrap I didn't even see that scrap right there so so much for that and also by the time I was at room 5 to power some of the doors I had a silly thought to just move room 10 leaper to room 6 I'm not sure if that was even uh a good thinking of mine but I ended up dead and just again I mistook room 10 leaper with room sick uh, with sentry because I thought like it had three infestations in it so what the hell okay so as soon as I cleared up the upper side of the rooms I forgot if I already had explored room 15 but I might explore this room last uh, moving it to room 4 and then uh, moving it back to room 15 if I recall correctly. I didn't even kill anything with the ship defense because I just discovered room 9 uh, power inlet way too late and just didn't think on using the ship defense uh, going forward. So what the hell me. Um, okay, that was done and about. Um, I retreated to A1. Figured that I might had a chance to use room 5. Uh, power inlet again, so I ended up uh, fencing A5. Fencing A5, uh, I mean, bef uh, before opening D13 and D37, after D opening D13 and D37, not before, sorry. Wow, I thought it was all over the place there. Uh, okay, uh, following the vacuum from room 10 and then going to room 2 and room 5, of course, due to the vacuum nature. Um, oh, oh yeah, I forgot, I had to redock uh, in order to access uh, A5, that's for sure. Room 2 already got irradiated uh, via low radiation damage from room 10, so... Um, a bit of a screw you there, game, bit thunder. Uh, so, I ended up 
having to risk uh, Toronto to go to room five and take six point uh, six points of damage from Titrix of three ticks. Titrix, did I say Titrix? It should be three ticks, not Jesus. <laughs> three ticks of low radiation damage in order to repower room five. Yes, the the power in the five, which I'm really glad about and all that stuff. <laughs> Um, so I ended up going to uh, ex uh, continuing my exploration to room 14. Apparently, the D21 was not powered by room 5 power inlet, so uh, a little bit of a bummery there. And I think as soon as I had my group ongoing, keep in mind, I was in room 5 with room 2 irradiated. Ah, you know what? Let's give it a little bit of that closer look there. Yep, yep, I got these two freaking rooms irradiated, am I right? So like that sucks big time. Sucks balls if you want to say it that way. So I had to like maneuver my only drone, my only generator drone with motion. Yes, I am not that silly. I still have my motion on, but still, what the hell. Uh, I had my one drone module on. One drone mode on, sorry. Yeah. Uh, I managed to explore room 8 and then continue my search at room 15. I wasn't able to visit this room before. Um, park my drone at D19 if I recall correctly and then try uh, continuing exploring at room 6. Yes. Uh, it was a really slow approach for some reason because I think I was being too careless um, visiting those spots, uh, especially. Uh, checking room 7 and room 9 via room 6 motion result. Yeah, that's that's what I, what I remember. And then suddenly, uh, I think the slime was either at room 8 or room 14. I think if I recall correctly, it started at room 8. I felt I did not create any slime at all. And it just rogue slime there. Okay, that was around 12 minutes or something, I think. If not earlier if not later yeah okay that's the first spawn uh room five yeah and then i i think managed to like oh yeah i remember now i managed to just check um room seven room nine fire room five i hmm, i don't remember but i might go to room seven first instead of room nine for discovering that part inlet so yes that was a really long checking and something like that i ended up parking again at t19 at some point maybe that was something about 40 minute mark and then of course all of a sudden what the hell came so that was a little bit of a screwery so i ended up having to rush uh on checking uh, room 9 and room 7 result yeah i think apparently i was not visiting room 7 when the second spawn happened Still sucks either way because screw you slime and all that stuff, so yeah. With lots of carefulness or something like that, I ended up um, actually being safe and exploring room 9 and finding that power inlet right there. So that's fun and all that stuff. Mm, you know, I was actually initially preparing two screenshots in case I'm going to like... Uh, Focusing the bottom side, but now that I think of it, it was not really that important because I was able to just uh, explore the bottom side just normally. Nothing much of an excitement there. Yes, um, I think at some point around 16 minute mark. Yes, I was too happy that I managed to find an explore in that room nine, uh, but all of a sudden, what the frick? I missed the slam timer. This is this time. It's actually my fault. I was thinking if I managed to bait all three slime spawns, I was actually wondering it after discovering this third spawn right there that I baited on my own. But apparently I did. So, ah, uh, yes, that was quite something for sure. Yeah. I think after that, I, I did manage to, uh, yeah, 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 right, right. I did manage to find the next part inlet right there. So, all happy face and such, thankfully. So I don't have to, like, really use room 9 uh, in an extended time of uh, loop, so... 
I think the reason why I didn't use that chip defense in room 11 that got bought by room 9 was because I thought that room was really useless because I had my third spawn there so I didn't really have too much of a advantage on using that room. Overall, I did not kill any of the leapers, I mean not without the vacuum and thankfully I did get my uh, collector resolve. From this room that's that's it that's it for some reason fox managed to get four hidden scraps from today's collector and um, i might be one of the only one who played this game in first person view mode so i think the game was just straight up not too lucky for me i guess well that's all thanks for listening uh look forward for the next daily challenge which i hope is gonna be interesting Still looking forward on playing first person view mode and before I get too bored with it. Well, I don't think I will. <laughs>